got the excitement with the NFL and, of course, the USC Trojans. But last weekend was a big deal in L.A., and it wasn't just because Beyonce made her tour stop at SoFi Stadium, but because Messi was in town and a friend of the show and her first time on Believe TV, Shandrima Chatterjee joins us. Shandrima, can you set the scene of Messi mania? Okay, I, I can definitely set the scene. Um, the most packed stadium that BMO slash bank has ever held and filled with more celebrities than I could ever imagine. Like it was like NBA all-star game level of celebrities. Uh, tickets on average were about $750, which Ooh. is way beyond anything that, that we've ever seen in MLS, uh, you know. Um, and Messi and his friends were in town, Messi, Busquets, Alba. People were like, oh, he's not gonna, he's not gonna start, he's not gonna start. You guys are paying up to Wazoo for nothing. I was like, no, I think we'll see him, I do. Whether or not it's for the full game, I don't care. Um, he's got one game left. Miami needs all the points they can get to get to the playoffs line. And it doesn't matter that LAFC is in the West. And it doesn't matter that they're the 2022 MLS champs. When Messi plays, everyone watches and everyone kind of plays differently on the field, which is exactly what you saw. I have, I've just never been that blown away by a, a match before. I hate to say that. Um, it wasn't like the best quality soccer I've ever seen, but it was the most incredible atmosphere. I, I'm just so happy to, no, to tell I, you that, that it happened and all no, eyes can, were there. <laughs> I can see, I can see the smile for those watching right now. And I love it. And that electricity is what everyone should be living for. I do have a question real quick when it comes to Messi and joining the MLS. Like I still think he's averaging a goal per game uh, for those critics of soccer People know that that's not usually the type of thing. And there's been critiques about the level of play. And like, this seems like he's in a video game mode, playing easy against all of his opponents. And also that Miami, despite winning cups and winning all these things, are still, you know, last in the standings or near the bottom. Like, what do you make to those critics that make those comments? Okay. So first of all, I, th I believe there are only seven points from the playoffs line. Uh, and I, I do think that, the next match, the only match that Miami has to play without Messi and actually a dozen of his teammates in Miami uh, for international duty is a relatively simple one. It's at home, and I think they'll manage to get at least a point, hopefully a win. They don't need they don't need too much, but they do need to win everything else to make it. I think they can do it. Look, he's getting an assist or a goal or some sort of like creative play that in the midfield that causes confusion and chaos and it's enough for Miami to be able to score and that's what matters in the end. No, I I don't I think the critics have mostly shut up actually. I really hope they have. Um I think he's he's Messi has is is slowly beginning to experience that MLS is a little bit different than League's Cup or or Open Cup play. Uh it's the quality, the caliber is 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 higher level and I think he is experiencing that. He will get tired. He is human. So we'll see him slow down, but he doesn't need to play a full match every time. Shandrina, I, I think we have, I think too late. <laughs> we have less than 10 seconds. I need you to confirm something. Those yeah. pink messy jerseys for Miami, they're sexy, right? They're the best. The black ones are better. I think the black ones are better.